All right, cool. It looks like we're recording, I think. Oh, yeah, we're recording. All right, cool. Let's start. Uh, this is day four. Um, looks like uh, a lot of everybody has a lot of stuff going on this week. So we're going to take a little mental break. And I just wanted to just do a little demo of um, how to start making websites look pretty. Um, so I'm going to introduce a new I'm going to introduce something new to you guys. It's called CSS, which is what we were talking about before, Shamira, um, to make everything look pretty. And I'm just going to show you guys an easy way of getting things started. But first off, I wanted to uh, I wanted to give you guys, show you kind of what's going on when we start doing layers of, of making a web page. So I'm just going to give you just like a, a brief overview of how things work. So when you, got, so when you start, you know, you'll understand. All right, so actually, let me do something else first. I want to show you guys. Remember, I was showing you guys this uh, piece of code called div. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, what that div property inside of HTML do is doing is we're gonna make it. It's gonna make it pretty much a container, right? And and that container, the first div is gonna be just like your workspace, just as in like you're making a web page. So if you hit, if, bear with me, I didn't wanna share that. So when you do your first div, what you're doing is you're making your page, your web page, right? Mm -hmm. So now once you start putting stuff in here, um, there's a property called the building block property. So basically, if you start putting something in here, uh, off default, it's gonna give it the blocked off property. So let's say you put a, a picture in there. That picture is gonna take up this whole block. Mm -hmm. You put another picture in there, it's gonna go under this picture, and it's gonna make another block for the picture. So anytime you add a picture, it's gonna take up the whole page of it, right? So. Okay. That's, that's just one of the built-in properties of HTML. So when we make one div, we can just call that div the wrapper, or you can call it whatever you want, but I usually just call it the wrapper because that's gonna be your, your page, and that's just gonna be your, your page that you're gonna start. So that's just gonna be just plain white to start. So what I like to do is make another div, which once you make another div, it's gonna make something sort of like this. Just like, let's, let's just say this is something sort of like putting, putting jelly on toast or what I was saying earlier with the Legos, we made this first div as a surface. The second div is that first Lego, right? So now we can start, we can, we can start building on this first Lego. Let's just say we wanted this Lego to be on, we made it so our surface. So then um, we can start putting things in like pictures, we can put in a picture, we can put in our title, we can put in our title, blah, blah, blah. And then we can start like, let's say this is, this is a blog site, so you can just write your blog, blah, blah, blah. And when I do this, like I said, remember, this is blocking off this whole, when I, when I put stuff in, it's blocking off this whole width. Now there's a way around this, but I just wanna, I just wanna let you guys know that when you're putting something in, you're blocking off the whole entire length, no matter what it is. So that's just writing, this is gonna be blog, and let's say we put in another picture, and, and, and that picture's only this big, but it's still gonna block off this whole entire length. So if you add in another picture, it's just gonna drop it in right here. When you add in that picture, it's gonna block off the whole entire length. Now, there's a way of getting around this, because let's say we wanted to, Let's say we wanted to do something where we wanted to add, we want to add two pictures in there. We want to have this picture, and then we want to have another picture next to each other, and we want to have another picture next to each other. So if we want to do something like that, there's another property that we would have to have to use, um, but we would just have to turn that blocking, that whole blocking off. But I'll show you that in in the the code here shortly um, but typically what I like to do is once I make once I make this div to start 
once I make this div to start my web page, what I like to do is I, I like to make another div. And what I can do is I can make, I can set up the size of this div. So whatever I want up top, that can be the header. Then we can have the body set up another div called the body. And then I like to make another div called the footer. So this way, what we can do is we can keep everything, everything in, in line. We don't have to do much. Everything will be alive. So everything one at the header. So let's say we're looking at a website. Uh, let me see. Let me start a new. And you see me drawing, right? On the whiteboard? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's say we go, uh, what's, what's one of your favorite websites you go to at this point? Fashion Nova. <laughs> <laughs> Fashionova.com. All right. You go to fashionova.com. I'm going to share the screen. Um, I don't like deals right now. <laughs> All right. Cool. So what we're going to do here is uh, kind of look at what's going on on this web page, right? So basically, we have a header here where it has like women. I guess this is curvy women and then men. So this is our header. It has, it has the, the name of the website on it, Fashion Nova, plus a search bar. And then we have these little icons here. Mm -hmm. So all this stuff is going to be pre-made with HTML. This is our header. And then our body, I'm guessing this is going to be a lower, actually, probably this is Full, this full square right here is a part of our header, this full square. Mm. It's gonna have like links to go to different pages and things like that. And then our body is gonna be everything starting from this line all the way down, pictures, including everything. <laughs> and then our footer is gonna be this last part where you can figure out, you know, about us, careers, all this stuff. All that's going to be in the footer, so what they call this in the web page. These links to social media, and then how to contact these guys, and payment methods, all that stuff is in the footer. So mm -hmm. when, when you are, did they erase my whiteboard? When you are setting up your, when you're setting up your web page at first, first thing you want to do is set up how big you want your header. And so if this is Fashion Nova's website, we got a div that's going to pretty much carry our whole website. And then I set up, let's say I set up a header. I'm going to make another div, but I'm going to make it as big as I want the header to be. Right? Okay. I only want the header to be that big of the web page. Then I want the body to be pretty much most of the web page. Right? So everything I add in the body will be here. And then the foot, the footer, I'm gonna make another div and I'm gonna call that footer. And I'm only gonna make that, set that up as that big. All right. So that's what I mean by building blocks. You're setting up this whole first big, let's see if I can change the colors here. Stamp. Can I change the color? I can, oh, nice. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so this blue, that blue part is going to be the whole wrapper of the web page. This yellow part is going to be, uh, yeah, that didn't work. Okay, whatever. Every, these one with the three, that's going to be our header. All of this right here is going to be our body, and then this is going to be our footer. So now let me put that into code now that I kind of set that up for you and, get, and got you guys started doing something like that. Um, would you like to see me start maybe coding out Fashion Nova really quick? Or because uh, we have 20 minutes left here. Um, started a little bit late, but... Um, would you like to see see how I would go about starting out making fashion over? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, let's see if I can. 
put Fashion Nova on one side. So do you see this Fashion Nova on one side and the code on the other side? I just see the code. Screen. All right. I got to make sure I keep doing that. All right, cool. Here we go. I have Fashion Nova on one side, and then I have the code on the other side here. Let's see, can I close this? I can't close that. All right, cool. So here's what I'm going to do here. You could probably, hmm. they want, I want to set up a new folder. I'm just going to call it Fashion Nova. And remember, anytime you're doing HTML, you want to set it fashionnova.html. And you can save all your stuff like that, too, if you want. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not inside of. Uh, New folder. Fashion Nova. I know I spelled that wrong, but I'm I don't really care right now. Fashion Nova. HTML. Anytime you make starting with the page, you want to start it with Fashion Nova. HTML, and then you can get you right now. I know you're running. You're not running this uh, program, but you can get yeah. everything you need to go from that one website, or I can send it to you later. But okay. basically, you just need an HTML open, HTML close, a head, and a body close. And then this right here is I'm just getting everything set up. All right, cool. So first thing I want to do is I want to make that one div that I said. I'll make that one div. And when you're naming these, you want to give it an ID. And you set the ID equal to whatever name you want to set it to. I'm gonna set that to header. All right, cool. That's the header. Actually, no, I'm I actually I wanted to make the wrapper first. Sorry. Make the wrapper first. And then I'm gonna quickly copy and paste because I know I wanna do that. So the wrapper is first here. This is gonna be our we want the wrapper to be enclosing all of our code because we want everything inside. So everything's now going to be inside of there. So now we're going to set this as header. Header. So this is body. And we're going to set this as footer. Now I don't need this. I don't need this. Now, as you can see that these are inside of the wrapper, that lets me know that when I make this div, this div's gonna be first, this div's gonna be second, and this div's gonna be third. They're all on the same level. They're on top. All of these divs are on top of this wrapper. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, um, last class, I remember uh, CSS link. Remember, I, I don't, you guys don't have to learn this stuff by heart because there's always Google, but um, find that CSS link. And I remember they're going to pretty much, uh, okay, wait a minute. Uh, hold on. Let's do something like this. How to, link CSS to HTML. And these are just statements that you guys can just put in the search and you'll be able to find what you need. And like I said, anytime I see W3 schools, I know it's reliable. You can find other things, but I mean, CS, CSS, W3 school does really good with mostly everything in, in here. So it's telling you how to use it. You want to go in the head and you want to add this statement. I'm going to find my head, and I'm going to paste it in there. And then mystyle.css. Now, now I have to make another, now I have to make another, in the same folder, I have to make another file called my, 
or let's just do fashion over. Nova. Just to sh just to show you that you can write whatever you want. Dot CSS. Now that changed this whole file into a CSS file. Mm -hmm. And then now all I have to do is reference. Anytime you see reference, we're referencing fashion Nova. We're gonna be referencing this file right here. Hmm. Fashion Nova dot CSS. All right, cool. Close that up. Fashion Nova dot CSS. And then all right, cool. So now what I wanted to show you. CSS link. All right. Anytime, I think anytime you're doing an ID, I can't remember whether it's a whether it's a dot, but we'll see. Dot wrapper. Maybe it's not a dot. I think it's a wrapper. All right, cool. So now what we want to do is we want to do there's codes when it comes to making things look pretty. So background color, background color, the wrapper, let's just set that to aqua so we can see. And then let's do the width to 500, I think it's pixels. We can use pixels for now. And then the height. I'm gonna set that to 500 pixels as well, just to round it out. All right, cool. So now I'm gonna save that. Mm -hmm. I have it on auto save, but make sure you save. Save it, and then what I'm gonna do is run it real quick, just to see what it looks like. You see that? That's our wrapper. Hmm. That's what it looks like. That's, that's how easy it is to make stuff look pretty with code. Now it's gonna take you some time to kind of figure out um, some of the codes that you have, but, but you know what you wanna do. Let's say, hey, I wanna change the background color. I don't know what, codes to, what code to use. So you can do something like how to change background color. How to change background color in CSS. CSS is the pretty, HTML is the code. So the code, we can make the code to to set it up, but CSS is what we're using. It's called in cascading style sheets. It's how you style and make it look pretty. Okay. And W3 schools, once again, and then it's going to give you the example that we're gonna use, background color. You can also use color blue, but I like background color. You can use either one of those. Hmm. I don't even have to hit the, yeah. And the reason and, and the reason I did this was when I put ID, this ID, this ID basically corresponds with this uh, this hash mark, and it has to be the same name as the wrapper. You see how it's the same name as wrapper, and then mm -hmm. fashion that HTML I have it same as wrapper. So it has to be the same thing so it knows what to uh, it knows what to color. It knows what to what to target. Now, if I do another one, we know the whole page is 500 pixels high. So what I want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna copy it and be lazy, just so you know you can do this. But make sure you change change the names to header. And I'm gonna change this name to body. Let's change this color to, let's say red. And this is basically just so we can see the differences between what's going on. And this color to purple, just a different color, just so we know what's going on. Purple. So now you, you after this class, Samara, you, you should be really, really excited because you'll be able to start doing whatever. So I changed this. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> let's let's set the height 
because we let's set the height to something pretty small. I'm gonna set the height to 100, but I, oops, I wanna set the height to 100, but I still want it to be the same width width of the page of the wrapper. The width of the, the width of the wrapper is 500. The height, we're gonna set it as a different height, and let's say we set the body as 300. 300, uh, can't type, 300, and then let's set the footer, I think that's what we called it, mm -hmm. set the footer as, it is 100 as well. So basically what I did is I set it up into three chunks. We know the full, we know the full width, we know the full height and width of the wrapper, the height is 500, so I made the header 100, the footer 100, and then the body 300, because we want it to be bigger than the rest of the page. Let's set this as green. Oops. Set the background color as green. And this will still work with what you're doing too. I'll, I'll, I'll show you too outside of this, um, outside of this picture on how you can do it, Shamira as well. All right, cool. So now once I run this page again, okay, I did some freaky stuff here. Height, <laughs> heights. Oh, that's where I messed up. I did it wrong here. 500. Height, I want it to be 300. Gee, stop. 300. Yeah, I did some really messed up stuff here. Hold on. <laughs> I messed this all the way up. This is five, and that's one. Five, five. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Now let me go ahead and header body footer. Header body. And the reason why this is not picking it up, because I everything has to be right. I had a capital H for header, and I have a capital F for footer. Everything has to match. Hmm. As you see that, everything has to match. If I change this to a capital B, I have to make sure I change this to a capital B too, because it's targeting that div. Okay. So if you ever get to a point where something doesn't work, Make, it, make sure you just typed in everything right and make sure you're doing everything. Like I just messed up right here on live. You see what I'm saying? But you just have to, and if you ever get stuck, like I said, I'm always with you. But here we go. All right, cool. Now we're, now I sectioned off my web page, right? So it's all sectioned off. After it's sectioned off, I can start adding stuff that I want in each one of these columns. Now the header, we know in Fashion Nova, the header, wherever it is, and the header, it's big, it's black, it has this shop, it has this, but we know the header is black, so let's change that to black. Change that to black, and then we know the body is white, And we know the footer is black too, I think. All right, cool. Now once that's saved and then I come back over here and I refresh, bang. So we already started recreating Fashion Nova that quick. Hmm. See that? See how close we are to doing some stuff. And then, I mean, I know it doesn't look exact, but I mean, we would have to play with the numbers at the end, but at the, but here we know we have, first thing we have here is a picture. I don't have that picture. I don't have that search thing yet, but I know we have this words, we have this, but let me just do something just to show you what we can do. I mean, I know it's not going to look exactly like, like Fashion Nova, but we know we need a, a title called Fashion Nova, right? Right. So let's do something like H1. We want it to be big. 
And let's call that Fashion Nova. We want to put Fashion Nova in there with capital F. And it's probably not going to show up right away either because now we can either set this as an ID to find this or we can just do something like text, I think. I can do text and I think text will target every, all the text here and we want it to be the color to be white. Let's see. So it'll show up on our background. Let's see if, let's see if that works. Go back to ours and let's refresh. Nope, that doesn't work. Let me target it now with the hashtag. But when you do that, make sure in the text, you can do this to any, any element here. We can give it an ID, set it equal to text. So now it should, cross our fingers, there we go, there we go. Now we target it, Fashion Nova. I know that looks weird. I'm not even sure if I'm spelling fashion over wrong. Oh, it's two ends. <laughs> fashion Nova. All right. Fashion Nova. Now, we know this Fashion Nova is kind of in the middle of, of the page, right? So how, how are we going to move that? I know you're thinking like, man, how am I going to move the words now? But... There is, there's properties to move things around. Um, let's see. Yikes, I don't even remember. Let me, let me look back real quick. Let me look back really quick. The, I think it's line eight. Oh, we can use a pretty easy one. We can use vertical align. Text align. Okay, let's do text align center. Now I could have went and found it. But I cheated. You can you can always, like I said, type stuff in to find it. I might find I might find a cheat sheet, make a cheat make a cheat sheet on some of these commands and send that out to you, Shamaya. If you want that, let me know. I can do something like that to help you. That'd be cool. All right. So let's go to. Uh, I got too much stuff open. All right. Fashion over that CSS. Text align center. Let's see if that works. Yeah, bang. Yeah. So that's pretty much that's pretty much how you start. You know, basically you want to look. I usually put my stuff side to side so I can know. So I can know what stuff looks. Did I close fashion over? Really. Close fashion over, but I usually just put it side to side so I can get an idea of what's going on. Let me take a picture of it on your phone. I'll pay full price because I'm. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, some of these things, like we would probably have to find a picture for this. Let me see if I can find a picture online real quick. You have to find a picture for the shop plane? Yeah, because that's basically all that is, is a picture. That's all that is, is a picture. And when you click on that picture, it takes you somewhere. That's all that is. Hmm. All those, all those are pictures. Oh man, take me back to Fashion Nova. All these are images. That's an image. That's an image. Wow. That once you click on it, does that. That's an image. That's an image. Even these are images. Wow. 
even these right here are images they probably found or created themselves. Wow. Okay. And once you click on this image, it's going to take you to Facebook. Right. You can do something as easy as that too. You, it's 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 so easy. But I'll 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 have to show you and put some more stuff together to uh, kind of help you guys out with that. Um, but this is enough to kind of get you moving, right? This kind of helps you like, all right, I'm not I'm not really just doing all this math and stuff anymore. Now I can be creative. Now, mm -hmm. now you can be creative, right? Because right. you see you see how to do it and you see how to connect the cascading style sheets and your HTML together. Really easy. Yeah, so and where does the math come in to play? When, where does math come into play? What, yeah, where what, does what the problem? For like the, what I, what, the other things that I'm teaching you? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't really come into play until you start moving deeper into JavaScript as a web language. Because what's gonna happen is like, let's say, let's say you start creating a game or you start creating something that's a little bit more um, like this. Like when we first came to this page, Fashion Nova, mm -hmm. what popped up was that, okay, let's see if I can find yeah, another Yeah, you had pop-ups and stuff like that. So what's going to come into to play is like, let me move my face. When you first come to this page, you're going to be like, yo, you're going to set up some code that says when, let's say when user first, when, 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 when page is first initialized, I want this to pop up. You see this cookies? Mm -hmm. I want this to pop up. So I either want you to accept the cookies or not accept the cookies. If I press this, I'm declining the cookies. And right here, let's make it official. See, this popped up after me being here, probably probably a couple, five seconds. There's code that says, after me being here for five seconds, pop this up. So that's where some of that stuff that I'm teaching you on the other side, making web pages more dynamic and more fun. But mm -hmm. let's say seconds, seconds and seconds and code is is typically milliseconds so basically you'll be like hey let's change let's make this happen in 500 milliseconds which is five seconds 5,000 milliseconds which is five seconds pop this up and then be able if I click later close if I hit allow something else happens where I sign up online it may take me to an email or something like that where mm -hmm. that's where some of this other that's where some of that other coding experience helps you but this right here is the easy, easy stuff, and is and I'm showing you guys how to create stuff look pretty and make mm -hmm. stuff like it's not gonna be, it's not gonna you know just basic websites. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like all of a basic website. If I click shop, it's gonna take me to the shop, and then this is a different web page that pops up. This is a different page. This isn't the same page. This is another page that loads once I click shop. Right. Once I hit new arrivals, a different page is going to show up, probably, or maybe that's something that I scroll down on. Let's see. Make it bigger. New arrivals is a new page that pops up. There's no new arrivals, it looks like, or maybe this is just slow. Sweaters and sweaters and jackets is going to be a different. Okay, let's show it through the curve. Man, okay, something is just not working here i don't know what it is but basically each anytime i anytime i hit this a, a new page is going to show up mm -hmm. anytime i go to a new link or a link on here curve not the, yeah now it's curvy lady stuff then i go to men when i click on this it doesn't look like it but a new page is actually a new page is, is showing. This is brand new pages. These are all individual pages. More than likely, the only thing that's changing on this page is the body. So they're setting up a different body, but everything else stays the same. Hmm. Curve, same thing. Same header, same footer, different body. Curvy. Women, 
same hitter, same header, same footer, different stuff happening on the body. But it's three different web pages. So when you click this, it's saying go to this page. When I click this, it's saying go to that web page. When I click this, it's saying go into that web page. Now, this isn't something that you guys are going to get into in my class, in this, this, this beginning class, but it's something, you know, I'm thinking about making another class on how to do it the full, how to do it the full. Okay. But yeah, but, but creating web pages are, creating web pages is just that easy. It's going to be just that easy as what we've been doing here is making a div, body footer, and then adding stuff in there. Let's say I wanted to add an a image. Image. Set that equal to. Oh, wait a minute. Why didn't that auto complete? IMG. Nope, it's not auto completing. So make sure if you have an open one, if you have an open one, you have a closed one. Or if you don't know how to add it, like I said, you can go here. Let's let's just look how to add a image. Can't type to HTML. And go. I usually look for W3 schools because, like I said, most reliable. Find the code. Here we go. And you can use any one of those, but I, I kind of just, I want this one so I can play with it. Okay. Find, let's find a picture. Let's see if we can find another picture online. Let's see. And then I can just click on images. Um, and nothing's going to pop up when I need it. Oh, it doesn't have to be that. Let's just make, let's just find min. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm just, I'm probably just not searching for the right thing. But typically, um, let's just find an image. Any image, I guess. Let's, I don't want a menu. Uh, let's see. Uh, links. It's probably going to bring up the Nintendo character. I knew it. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. <laughs> I knew it was going to do that. Just, uh, graphics. Yeah. Nope. This is good that you're going through this with me because I probably be going, will be looking for it just like you are right now. And yeah, like I'm just I'm just trying to find something that I can use. Um, I can't think of um, menu drop. Typically, button. most of these people like they had these guys. They had someone create this website for them. So they had a graphic designer create these images for them or themselves or whatever. Where does it go? They had them create these little images and then they just put them there. They just put them there. Let me see if I can. Aha. Yes. Now, too, you can, if you find something online that you like, mm -hmm. you see my page, you see my, you see my screen right now, right? It froze on the guy. There it goes. All right. So if you see something on here that you like, you can also. Uh, oh, I don't want to save the link. Dang. I thought I could save the picture, but it won't let me. Yeah, they were smart. They hit it. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. They only let me save the, the link and not the picture. Uh, oh, well. Um, but any, anyway, 
Um, you just have to you have to look. I'll probably try and look online to see what they're called. Um, I can't I cannot think right now while I'm on here, but I just want to find any picture. Okay, let's do something like this. Picture of a heart. We know that we know that's a heart for sure. Mm -hmm. So let's say let's save this. Find something that looks good or there's a black heart. Let's save image as heart. And I kind of want to want to save it in the same folder. I'm gonna save it in the same folder as uh, Fashion Nova. And that's gonna save it as heart.jpg. That's what that's gonna name it as. But you could probably do something like heart. You can save it as whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Heart.jpg. Uh, you know what, let me just leave it and see what happens. It's gonna change it. It's gonna change, save it as heart.jpg. All right, cool. So now when we go back to our folder, we go back to our folder, it should be in our Fashion Nova folder. What was that? See, it's in our Fashion Nova folder. So now all we have to do is change our source to heart.jpg, right? Now let's see if that comes in oh it's black i need it to be white it's not going to show up uh, okay shows up <laughs> it's in our header uh let's change it let's make it pretty small i know we want something probably like 50 50 by 50 Change that, and then we made it small. Now it's here. Now it's in that, it's in there. Now we just have to move it. How do you do that? Uh, now we just have to move it around. Or I know what I did wrong here. Um, to make these be on the same line, remember I was saying is Fashion Nova took up the whole block, right? When I added this, when I add this picture, now this picture is taking up this whole block. Right. Now, if I want it to just take up just the just the information that it's taking up, I have to uh, apply a different property to it. And let's see, I, it's escaping my head right now. So I wanted to have it here, I know for sure. Display. If I change, I think I wanna take this, this piece of code. And basically instead of displaying it in inline block, I mean, instead of it just blocking off the whole thing. If I do display in line block, it's just going to display as the full line of the actual wording. So let me just block, yeah. Yep, that's what it is. So block, display has two different properties. It has block, which blocks takes off the whole thing, and inline block is just gonna take off just its part. All right, cool. So. Here's what I'm going to do for the text. I'm going to put display inline block, and then when I save it, now it's right on the same line as Fashion Nova. You see how it did that 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 quick? Yeah. So now all the, now all of a sudden I have to kind of play with my have to play with my settings and things like that to move to move things around, which. If I wanted to move the text, let's see. Um, let's see. 
minimum height. I think I can, I can do something like minimum height. All right, cool. So if I want to do something like moving things around, let's do minimum height. Actually, I don't want to do height. I want to do height is up and down, width is left and right. Okay. So minimum width. Let's just do like let's just do like 50 pixels and let's see what it looks like. All right. I'm gonna save it. Nothing's happening. So if nothing happens too, I can also inspect. Inspect, click on what I want to move is this here. Mm -hmm. And now I have, I can see if this moves or anything. Let's see, nothing's moving. So let's stop. Oh, maybe it's because I have this center on. Let me uncheck this center. See if I can move it. Aha, uh -huh. all right, cool. See that? See how I'm moving that over? Yeah. I move, I just move, I just move that heart over. And basically when I did inspect, when I did inspect, basically, I'm able to choose, there we go, there we go. Oh. Move that heart over, now I still have Fashion Nova where it needs to be. And, and then it's just about playing with how I want it to look. But if I did something here, I did minimum height, just to show you real quick. And let's see, I did 50 picks. I'll start moving things up and down. Now these numbers can go positive and negative. I think if I go negative, it'll start moving down. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> All right, now that's just something I would have to play with. We, you would have to play with like different settings and things like that to see to get it moving. But basically when I showed you this inspect, mm -hmm. this basically lets you play around with your code to get you to move things around. So make sure if you're clicking this select element, I can select the body, I can select the footer, I can select the header. I can select this text. I can select this image. Okay. Now you can give you can give everything an I you can give everything an ID. You can give everything an ID, and pretty much if you wanted to move everything individually, that's how you have to get things to move by itself. Like this this source, it has has it right here. You can give it an ID. Mm -hmm. Set it equal to heart pick or something like that, right? So now, if I want, if I want to get, if I want to move this heart individually, all I have to do is go back over to my CSS file and then target it. Uh, I think I called it heart pick. Yep. And then let's see if I can do something like minimum. Minimum width. Oh, I know too, because the rest of it is blocked off. That's why both, everything up there has to be in display, it has to have this same inline block if I want it to, uh, if I want it to uh, work how I want it to work. That's probably what was going on. Hmm. 50 picks. So literally everything has to be the same? Um, if, if you want it to be in the line, because let me show you what was happening there. This is inline, this is inline block where it's only showing this, but this is blocking off all of this instead of just the area of the heart. Mm -hmm. So this is blocking off the rest. So that's why I'm having trouble moving things around. Okay. Okay, something is wrong here. 
Oh, okay, I see what's going on. Okay. This code is all jacked up. What's really cool about having this editor too is it lets you know when you mess when you mess up some code. It's gonna be pretty tough for you to figure out what's messed up with your code with not having a code editor. So uh, if you haven't probably having bugs in your code, like how I was just having all those squiggly lines. Yeah. It was just basically saying, hey, this isn't gonna run. Like there's there's okay. there's issues. You're not gonna have that. So you have to keep in mind that if you're spelling something wrong or doing something wrong, it's not going to work for you. So maybe this will be something you have to wait until you're able to get a better laptop that can can run Windows so we can get this and get you going. But this will this will get you started. But just make sure you look and make sure everything is correct. Okay. All right, cool. So now, see that? Now it moved. Hmm. Because now it's now it's only taking up the space of the yeah. picture, not the whole rest of, of what's not taken up by Fashion Nova. Mm -hmm. So that's what keep that in, in mind when you have this block, when you have display. That's one of the codes that you're gonna have. All right, but cool. That's it. I just wanted to show you really quickly how to get started, Shamira and everybody else that's gonna be watching this video. Um, just get started playing with some websites and maybe recre recreating it. Like I said, like it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we know that you're on a. Uh, we know you. We know you're on the right track of recreating some of this stuff, and that you know how to do it. So I'll probably get some more. Uh, I'll probably get some more. Like probably get you guys like some cheat sheets, and then I'll get that set. I'll get that set up to how to get how to get things moving. But that that's pretty much it. Unless you have any questions for me. No. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording this and then I'm, I'm going to help you out a little bit. All right. So that's it for this one, guys. I'm going to stop recording.